Hey guys, Michael here with Do It Justice. Welcome to the next video in our DIY solar power series. In this portion of the series, I'm gonna take you guys on a personal walkthrough of our 600 watt solar power system that I installed on our Class C RV. Now this is gonna take place over the course of multiple videos and multiple weeks. So today I'm gonna to cover the solar panels. I'm gonna talk about what panels I bought, why I located them, where they are on the RV, and how I wired them and how I mounted them to the RV. So it'll give you guys a really um, good case study and an application of all the concepts that I just talked about in the previous six videos. So let's go ahead and get started on these solar panels. When it came to buying solar panels for the RV, we decided to go ahead and buy four 150 watt monocrystalline solar panels. Now, we have these all wired in parallel and we have them located at the front of the RV. The reason we have them located up in the front is because this is really the only area on the roof of our RV where we can fit the amount of solar panels that we need to power the things that we want. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you a different potential setup with this RV that's to my left. There's a class A RV and as you see in the front of the RV it's got a like a couple AC units, it has some vents, it has everything like that, but if you look in the back of the RV, there's a perfect spot for solar panels. Now, in this setup, they would wanna put their solar panels in the back of the RV, and again, they would have to look at different size solar panels because we had to look at the individual size of each solar panel, do calculations, and make sure that the setup would fit perfectly where we have it. So different brands come with different sizes and different wattages and all that stuff. And all of that has to go into your calculations when trying to find a place to put your solar array. So now I'm gonna talk about the solar panel mounting. Right now I have a completely custom mount that I built for all four solar panels to be in a single array. Now, a lot of the times you'll find when you buy a solar panel, you have the option to buy a mount with each panel. Now. That is a really good option if you don't want the hassle of, of having to lift up about 100 pounds of panel and having at least a two-person job to get this tilted. For us, this works okay, but to be honest with you, on our last full-time trip, we didn't even tilt the panels once. Our system is really efficient, but if we were gonna stay in the RV for more than two weeks or so at a time, it would definitely be worth it for us to tilt the panels in the winter time. I have this designed so that you can tilt them at about 50 degrees, and if you look online, uh, it's a really great advantage in the winter time because the sun sits on the southern horizon uh, a lot more during the winter time. It doesn't matter whether you're in the desert or whether you're in the northeast of the United States. All of the areas, the sun's going to be setting a little bit more southern. So you need to tilt the panels to get a perpendicular uh, angle to the sun so you can get the most amount of energy draw from the sun. When I went to build this custom mount, what I had to do was figure out how I wanted the solar panels to align together. And then I went to a local steel shop and they had aluminum angle that I bought to create the framework. So this is what the solar panels actually sit on top of. So the framework is two by two aluminum angle and you may be wondering why it's aluminum. Number one, aluminum is lighter so it's not as much weight. And then also the uh, frame of the solar panels is already made out of aluminum. The guys at the steel shop said that some metals can uh, react weirdly together when it's exposed to different weather conditions. So just to make it easy for myself and lighter, I went, went ahead and went with aluminum. So these are two by two uh, aluminum angles cut to fit and I had the had the um, steel shop cut them to the correct measurements and then I tied them all together with these stainless steel bolts that I got from Home Depot. They're just a, uh, this is a one half inch nut and all of these bolts are all stainless steel, all the hardware is stainless steel so that when it's exposed to weather it's not going to have the tendency to rust like normal steel would. So I've got it mounted in a bunch of different spots and I've also got it reinforced here at the angles where this single panel aligns with all three of these panels. So there, it's reinforced all through the solar panel frame as well as the custom aluminum frame that I built here. Now, you'll notice also that I have these aluminum brackets here that I have to hold up the solar panels. I've got it bracketed in two different areas so that if there's a lot of wind, there's not gonna be a lot of torquing and wobbling with the solar array because it is a lot of surface area for the wind to catch. So I wanted to make sure that it was nice and sturdy and I did the measurements for this to make sure that it's tilted at 50 degrees. 
The last thing I'm going to talk about when it comes to mounting the solar panels is how the solar array is actually attached to the roof of the RV. Now you'll see here I have a 4x4 four four aluminum angle. I've had this cut again by that steel shop and I have six of these placed on three of them on each side of the solar array. And I have holes um, drilled into the 2x2 two two aluminum angle where I can place a bolt and attach that array to these 4x4 four four aluminum angles. Now how these are actually attached to the roof of the RV is kind of funny. They are actually taped. There is no bolt, no uh, screw going into the roof of the RV. We did not want to have more places where water could get in, so we decided to go ahead and just do a VHB tape. VHB tape stands for Very High Bond, and it's from 3M, the company. And this stuff is seriously amazing. We've had this on our RV for two years. I saw a video a couple years ago of some guy who did it, and I was just like, you know what? Screw it. Let's try it and we did it and it works. And a lot of you have asked if it's held up over the years. We've traveled down the highway at 70 miles an hour. We've had, we've gone up mountains, we've gone over deserts, we've, we've almost slipped off the side of a mountain and this stuff has held up. So this stuff is great for mounting your panels to the roof of the RV, assuming you have the correct materials to attach the tape to. So double check these stats on the tape. I'm not exactly sure what the tape adheres to, but since we have aluminum on aluminum, it works perfect for our situation. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's portion of the tour. I went ahead and I covered stuff on the solar panels and how they're mounted to the roof of the RV. If there's anything that you think I forgot to mention or that you're curious about, hit me up in the comment section below. I would love to answer your questions, but also keep in mind that next week, we're gonna be covering how this solar array is wired to our custom combiner box or junction box. So stay tuned for that video. If you wanna see any of those new videos coming up in the future, hit that subscribe button down below and you'll get notified on all of the upcoming videos that we post. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button down below and as always, I will see you on the next video.